What is up guys, Yellow Gamer here, and today I am bringing you guys episode number 28 of my NBA 2K17 30-1 to rebuild series. Now, uh, this is one of the rebuilds I'm a bit more excited for because I believe, well I kind of already know this, but because of where we are currently, I gotta delete a file. Ugh. I never plan ahead for these things. We'll just delete, which one did we do last time? To the Suns, right? Yeah, we'll delete that. Alright, um, because I'm going to be doing my hometown favorite team, which will be... The Los Angeles Lakers, so as we load in here, go into my league. Current NBA teams obviously start in regular season, uh, set up options. I'm just going to go with however I set it up last time. I thought that was, but not fancy draft on. What was like, whatever, I was doing something. Um, so if I recall, I was down here, I loaded sliders, I did the, I did just the realistic ones. And then I did player progression rate and moved that to about 70. So that being the case, we'll start the mode. We're going to be the Los Angeles Lakers, as you guys already know. I'm very excited. Now, this is also really cool because um, I believe in my MLB 30-1 to rebuild, the next team will be the Angels. The next two teams I'm doing are the next two rebuilds I'm doing. Um, I'll probably do both of them today. I get to play with my favorite teams, which is really cool. Um, I'm obviously looking forward to that a lot because you, you can have more, you know, you have more, first off, more knowledge on the team. As we download another draft class, obviously, we're always going to go with the uh, realistic draft classes. Um... You just try to avoid those storylines, but um, I don't know. You, you just know more about the team this way, and you know more about contracts and players that are getting overpaid, and all those other things, or all these other things. So, on this team, yep, the big contracts that we're trying to get get rid of are Mozgov and Luol Deng, who are both severely overpaid. Same with Corey Brewer. I didn't know he was getting overpaid that much. Um, so, if we can just find a deal for either of those two guys, anybody will just take on that contract. I'll be happy. Um, this, okay, these guys aren't getting that much money. That's a, a possibility. It's not even bad either, so that, that would, it's a trade we could probably go through with. Um, Shelvin and Mac and Jeff, why, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this will be the trade we go with. Um, taking on almost no money at all and getting rid of some huge contracts. Very happy to do that. I don't know why the Lakers in real life offered Mozgov and all those guys those contracts. It was just... That actually pissed me off a lot, I remember back then, because I was like, well, I just, it didn't make sense to me. I'm fine with Clarkson getting that much money, because I actually like him. Maybe he's not worth $12 million a year, but in this game, um, with how severely players get overpaid, he's he's about, wor he's, he's about worth that much on the open market, so... Um, this guy's actually pretty solid. 24 years old, 74 overall center, he could replace Mozgov, and he's got like no contract, I don't know why they're so willing to trade him for Brewer. When he's a better overall, he's younger and all that, but whatever. Um, so that released some contract space. That's usually what we want to do at the beginning. Now, the Lakers naturally do have a lot of money as, you know, we are a Los Angeles team. We have Los Angeles type of money. Um, don't. Eh, it's fine if any of these guys, we lose any of them. Player contracts, we got most of these guys locked down for a little while longer. Um, but with that being the case... We're going to move on to the end of the season. You guys know typically when I start these things, I want to sim the whole season, the whole first season at least. So we got really nothing to look forward to here, look forward to here as the Lakers. All we got to look forward to is hoping to get a top three pick so we don't lose it. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Okay, guys, we have about two games left. And if we're looking at things in a uh, tanking the season perspective, it didn't go that well for us. We were looking good to get one of those top three picks early on. But randomly in this month, what, what month was this? About the month of March or so. Just like this, this between the 26th of February and the 24th of March, we went off. Look at this. We were doing great on uh, on this day of the week. So, I, I don't know. We, we just were winning way too many games. Uh, our record's not looking that bad. 33 and 48. We'll just take a look here. Um, I don't think that's a top three pick. Um, no. No, it's not even close. That's got us at, like, with how bad the East, is record, the East record is. Um... Yeah, that's that has us at like the seventh or, or like the seventh pick. So we'll just send this. Um, yeah, uh, we're not looking to get that pick then. MVP will actually be LeBron. This is the first time in the first year I haven't seen Westbrook actually get that MVP award. Um, a lot of these other awards though are pretty consistent. So we're gonna send through here. Uh, that's the Lakers. I doubt we got any recognition for any of our players. Um, Clippers got some love for the Lakers. Yeah, we don't have that much talent, so. Um, maybe. 
No, whoa. Weirdly enough, Ingram was not on either of the rookie teams. We're going to have to check that out. What's up with Ingram? Didn't play that bad. I mean, he averaged eight, three and a half, and three. I mean, that's kind of how he averaged in real life. And he's going to develop, hopefully. I'm not going to worry too much. It's potentially only a B minus. His potential is only an 83. Ingram's potential is only an 83? What's D'Angelo Russell's? An 86. So, so you're telling me D'Angelo Russell has more potential than Ingram. Okay, never mind. These draft picks ain't going to get me anywhere then because... Um, how about Clarkson's? 78. Okay, so none of these guys are, are projected to develop to anything, which is weird. Ingram especially should be developing into something. Either way, we're obviously not in the playoffs, but I, I'm a bit upset with that, that rating. I wasn't aware of that when starting this, or else I probably would have just changed it in the roster, because truthfully, that's some stupid shit to me, because I know he's better than that potential-wise. I want to change it right now, but I don't even know if I can. Uh, Steph Curry wins MVP. They beat the Cavs in five games. It's actually my prediction for what's going on in... Uh, that's my prediction for what's going to happen in real life. I was, I was saying Warriors of five games. But honestly, with how those first two games went, right now, uh, game two just ended. By the time this video comes up, it's probably just still two games in. Uh, with how those first two games went, I'm thinking it, it might be a sweep. But obviously, Cavs are going back to their home floor, so we'll see. Either way, um, league meetings. Add one new team to the league. Ooh. That could be interesting, actually. I, I almost have a... Uh, have an interest in doing that for the sake of adding something you know yeah we'll, we'll prove that because I have no control over that so seeing a new team would be cool um a possession error rule to be used in place of a possession error rule like I need to look that up a possession arrow not even like I'll probably accept it but what's that in basketball Um, it, it doesn't seem like it makes a difference or anything, so I'll go through with it. You guys can tell me about it. I didn't want to read about it. It takes a lot of time. Oh, I get to choose what... Well, I don't want to be in my conference. Yeah, you can play over there with the Cavaliers. The Louis Vuitton Liberty, that's pretty cool. Draft lottery. Oh, we're number eight. We have a three and a half percent chance, so... We'll sim through here. Um, we'll get to the 8th pick. I'm assuming we're going to get stuck with the 8th pick, which obviously will not be given to us. I don't know if this game has it completely in depth, but in real life, the, if the Lakers don't get a top 3 pick, they're fucked for a long time. Obviously, I don't know if the game has that much detail into that pick. But there are so many different variables that were hanging on to Lakers getting a top 3 pick. For those of you who don't know, I highly recommend you look it up, because as a Lakers fan, I was so nervous about the draft lottery. Like so nervous about the draft lottery i can't even tell you because i almost ruined like everything phoenix suns right now i'm assuming yeah that's a, that's our the pick right yeah yeah okay we'll send the rest then the liberty got the fourth pick um since they're the expansion team, they get a pick. Oh, that, that makes sense why we dropped to nine. Yeah, because they get a pick. Um, Hornets, Celtics, Magic, Liberty. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Staff signing. This is usually something I enjoy doing. Always try to get some good staff. For those of you who watch my 30 to 1 rebuilds, and I'm assuming you do if you're watching this, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of making sure that um, I got good staff because I know it makes a big difference. We have 12 million dollars for this position. What the hell? How do we have so much fucking money? I like Luke Wallen. For some reason, he has no. He has awful ratings. They just hate the Lakers. 2K is a bunch of haters. It's just weird. I thought. I mean, I the the problem is I could obviously be biased because I'm a Lakers fan. So maybe I'm what I'm hearing about them is not actually accurate. But um. We'll have to protect our players for the expansion draft. But, um, I swear people are, are viewing Ingram as more talented than that. 
Uh, with the players we can protect, we can more or less protect our whole entire team, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just go through with this. Let's see who they get on their team. Juan Hernan Gomez. I mean, this team's going to be pretty trash. That's their first pick. TJ McConnell. Alan Crabb. I mean, maybe they'll be decent. Nick Young, who's not on our team, actually. I need to emphasize that. We traded Nick Young away for a... For, a, for a, like a late first round pick. Brandon Knight. Okay, maybe this team can be decent. Can I, can I sim through this? No, now I'm stuck watching this. Okay. Patrick Beverly. Lucas Neguera. I think that's how you say it. And sure, I don't want to look at that. NBA draft though. We're hopping in this time. Um, with a late first round pick, I might go with my usual... Um, my usual pick. We have the 29th pick. Uh, I like to get Harry Giles if he's always, you know, if he's always still up there. I like to get him. Because I know he develops pretty nicely there at the power forward position. We already have some solid power forward with Nance and Randall, however. Josh Jackson's actually going to be the first pick, interestingly enough. Out of Kansas. The Hornets are, are known to like those athletic small forwards. They got MKG there a few years ago. Which makes it odd why they get Josh Jackson, who kind of fits that same mold in terms of player build. It just seems kind of odd to me that they would go with him, but um, I guess that's what they wanted to do. Moving on to my pick, we have 20 offers. It'd be stupid of me to not at least look at them. Um, Dwayne Bacon. Good next year first round pick from the Clippers, but I doubt that's going to be worth much. Don't want to get Corey Brewer back. Mari Carroll is decent, but $15 million a year. Hell no. Um... Myers Leonard's decent. Okay, yeah. Now I'm just going to take a pick. Um, obviously, hoping Giles is still up there. If not, well, I mean, there's still going to be some talent. TJ Leaf's decent. Um, Marcus Keene's not that good. Joan Evans. I don't see Giles. He may have already been taken. I say he probably was. Let's check the. Uh, the draft summary. Yeah, Giles taking 23rd. It's only a 70 overall, so actually we could find more talent than that in the draft. Who do we have scouted the most? TJ Leaf and Jawan Evans look like the best players for us. Um, check potential. 71, so he doesn't actually have potential to get any better. TJ Leaf, 83 potential. Okay, that's pretty solid actually for a late first round pick. Um, C plus. Okay, we'll get TJ Leaf then. That's pretty solid potential. Um, with that, we have a second round pick. That's not going to get us anything. So we'll just send the rest of the draft and then move on to the free agency where that's going to probably matter a bit more. I thought, I, oh, I actually clicked some next future pick. Okay, we'll see if we can get anything for this pick. If not, just keep simming. I mean, yeah, we can't get anything that's worth anything. We'll just just send the rest of the draft. Send it in. That's why I'm meant to click. We'll see who they draft for us real quick. OG. Okay, that was the guy who was really high up in the draft. Eh, maybe he could be decent for us. We'll see. All right. Um, let's check his stats real quick. Oh, he's a 72 overall. That's probably like the best pick we could have gotten for that for that pick. Um, so we'll sign him real quick. Let's check what his potential is looking like. 80, yeah, of course we'll sign him. I don't know why that was something we'd consider not doing. That could be a solid role player for pretty cheap too. Tariq Black, I like him. I'm gonna get him back for only oh six and a half million dollars a year. Whew, that might be tough. How do they do for us? Career staff. Uh no, maybe not actually. I like him though. I do like him in real life, but if we're if we're just viewing it on the 2K level, not worth the money. He's gonna get paid more than Russell. It's not worth the money. Tyler Ennis too. Yeah, we'll just we'll move on. Uh, qualifying offers. Yeah, we can keep we can keep Jamichael Green and we can keep Felicio. Um, for pretty cheap too. Looks like they want to test free agency, but that's all right. 
Um, would Drake Black go for, he would go for the minimum, yeah, we'll do that. We'll offer Nawaba the minimum as well. Yeah, they're just going for the minimum, sure. Um, now we can go to free agency, and we should have a lot of money on our, like, a lot of money off our books from the trades that we did. So we should have a lot of money to sign players. And yeah, it looks like we can sign about two max deals. So with that being the case, um, no, not Chris Paul. Oh, I thought it was Steph Curry. Chris, we can bring Chris Paul back to the other LA team. This could be a quick rebuild if we can get Chris Paul and KD on the same team. I have to figure. If not, though, I think Blake Griffin could be pretty solid. That'd be like a. That'd be a that'd be a pretty solid um. You know, set of forwards right there, Blake Griffin and and KD. Ooh, but I mean, there's some options. This is a pretty solid free agency class. I know. The upcoming years have some talent as well. But I don't mind D'Angelo Russell being our star, so we can try getting Blake Griffin. Time to a player option. No trade clause, yes. Hopefully he signs as well. Um, if not, we'll try Chris Paul. It doesn't hurt to try to sign him. And if he says no, then we'll obviously just or if he even if he says yes and we don't want him. We'll just click through it. Okay. Kevin Durant went back to the Warriors. Chris Paul signed somewhere else. Blake Griffin, yeah, it looks like he accepts some more. Yeah, he went back to Clippers also. So, and these guys want a lot of money. How about Otto Porter? Porter ends up being pretty good, I know. He has some potential, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, just 81. He's got good stats, so I like Porter, but he's not hes not $22 million good. That's like uh, only like $8 million less than what we were given um, KD. It's not worth it. And we already have solid role players, so we don't, or like solid position players. Let's check, is there any positions we really need? We can get a better shooting guard, but I'm fine with that. Um, we need a backup center. I like JaVale, but not worth that much money. Look at Mike Muscala for the minimum. We've got Trig Black, too. Yeah, we'll get Muscala if he'll sign, too. And no, he actually went to the Magic. What a, what a dick. Okay, um... Okay, and then we have enough players on the team. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so we could have a few more players. I love the team just auto-sign players. It's one of those things where, um, I don't know, we weren't able to sign any big names. And that's that's where the majority of the Lakers' rebuilding needs to come from. If we don't sign big names, then we're not going to get anything. Uh, obviously, if that's not having a top pick, that's going to help either. So it's another season. It's looking like we'll have to sim. Um... And just hope that we get a big name next year. I mean, luckily it looks like, yeah, Russell went to an 85. Ingram went to a 79. Nance went to an 80. So our team could naturally just develop into a playoff team. Especially through uh, Russell's development. But who really knows? Training camps. We'll try to send Russell and Ingram both to a, a developmental camp. To, uh, to make sure that they keep reaching that potential. Because obviously if both of them reach their potential, we could be... We'd be looking at a pretty good, pretty good future. We'll let storylines happen this year. Um, okay. So, come on. Training camps. Yep. And now, on top. Potential. D'Angelo Russell. A potential now. Okay. Did his, oh, I mean, his potential may have gone up throughout the year, too, I guess. I don't... A minus, so I'm assuming their potential had to go up throughout the year. That's the only thing that makes any logical sense to me, and because they said a B minus at the beginning of the year. Is that something that happens? So their, does their potential go up with their their play? Um We'll check now, but potential 89. No, that doesn't look any higher than it was. Well, I mean with the plus three, that's where it should be. 86 with the plus three, I think that's where it should be too. It wasn't 81. No, I thought it was at 83 or somewhere around there. Doesn't look like the potential's really getting any higher. Regardless, um, we have a decent lineup, I guess, now. Um, if we have Randall running small ball at the center and Clarkson playing the two, we could be pretty solid, I guess. Um, but still not a playoff team. So, we'll, I mean, maybe. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to send this year. I'll see you guys at either the playoffs or, or uh, offseason or something like that next year. And that's where we'll start figuring out some more things. We need to sign a big free agent, though. Okay, guys, we have one game left here 
against the Suns. And what sucks is we're the ninth seed in the conference, ninth seed in the Western Conference. We need to win this game to even have a chance um, to make the playoffs. What really sucks, though, is if there's one seed you don't want to be, it's the ninth seed. That just sucks. Like, it sucks being the ninth seed. Which means we'll have, like, the worst lottery pick, but still a lottery pick. So, it's like, what's what's the point? Um, and Louisville Liberty, this expansion team made the playoffs in their first year. What the hell? We're 13th in power rankings, too. Our team's not even bad. Um... And we lost. Yeah, we're not going to make the playoffs then. Damn it. That's that's so frustrating. Ninth seed then. Lonzo is the, the rookie of the year. MVP is Russell Westbrook. Lynn, sixth man. It's on white side. Buddy Heald. Whoa, well, we average 20 points a game. That's pretty solid. Ron Adams, who's the coach for? The Warriors. So they got rid of Steve Kerr, I guess. Um, Lakers. Got any All-NBA teams? No, no. Nope. Any defensive teams? Nope, nope. Rookie teams? Oh, you don't really have any big rookies um so now we get a sim playoffs being the ninth seed that or actually we dropped to the 10th seed but still that sucks warriors have swept their first two teams the warriors are 12 and 0 to this point and the warriors win again going 16 and 2 in the playoffs the only two games they lost were of course here to the bucks um that's crazy mvp was kd that time so simming through Looks like KD probably made the right choice going back, and I kind of figured it would be. Decrease luxury tax rate by 10%? Sure, I need that as much as possible, because I need to I need to get something going for me. Nobody cares about the draft fault or anything like that, because obviously, um, I'm sure you guys are aware that uh, I don't have a very good pick. So, we're going to load into the draft. I mean, maybe we'll get a decent pick. I have scouting auto automation on, so I haven't actually even done all that much research on these players I'm drafting um primarily just because I'm trying to get through this I, I mean with the Lakers the team isn't even bad like I don't know where rookies are unless we get like a top-notch pick and a top-notch rookie they're not going to make a, a very quick impact on our team it's really in a situation where we just need to sign a big a big free agent I like D'Angelo Russell I like Ingram I like Randall I mean I like Black I like our team it's just they're all solid players but they're just not good enough like they're just all slightly not good enough I mean, I think Russell could easily start at point guard, at least in this game, because they let his potential go up so quick. And I'm sure if Ingram keeps developing and goes to like a mid-80s overall, I'm fine with that small forward. Especially because I like his skill set, I like his length too. It should be good defensively, but... Um, dude, we need some big men and we need a shooting guard. We just need some... We need some talent. So let's see, they're moving on to our pick. Let's see, what are they offering us for the 14th pick? That's what we got. Dion, okay, Dion Waiters is solid. I think it, that would be a solid shooting guard. Same with Jordan Crawford. He's pretty solid. We can get Paul Millsap, really. And he's getting $32 million a year, though. Look at that contract. Yeah, they're probably just trying to release that contract. I'm not I'm not going to be the taker at that one. Greg Monroe's not bad. George Hill. I mean, these are, these are solid players. The only reason I'm not accepting them is their contracts are fucking huge. That's the only reason they're offering them is because they, they know their contracts are huge and they're trying to screw me over. Um, then it's not worth it. Honestly, I'm trying to keep as much money as possible available for if I need to, uh, if I need to sign a big name player. So, um, what's the potential like for these guys? Aggregates, potential, highest potential guys. I even have a little bit scout, but this guy, uh, Jacob Evans, the third, Troy Brown Jr., um, this guy looks like we had fully scouted. Yeah, what's his potential looking like? 81. Okay, we'll just go with the guy with the highest potential. Um, he's still got a solid overall, looks like. And he's a small forward, so he could be a solid backup, hopefully. For, uh... Hopefully, for Brandon Ingram. So, that, with that pick, we'll just send to end. I just, honestly, I, I just think we got to be able to rebuild this team. With how much money these Lakers teams have, it, it should be easy. We just got to make the right picks. Uh, so let's see, he's only 6 10 overall, but let's check what his potential is like. He's got a solid 3-point shot. His potential is only a 77. Uh, we'll get Metu. I like Metu as a USC fan. I mentioned that in the last episode. Um, 
Russell went to an 87 overall, so he's pretty solid for us. What were his stats like? 21, 8, and 4. I'm surprised he wasn't in two, two steals a game. With that, those shooting stats, I mean, I thought he would be a All-NBA third team, maybe. I like Larry Nance. I like Ingram, obviously. He went to an 80 overall, averaging 11. Fourth. I, I don't know if we just need to make him more aggressive or what's going on, but um, all those guys look pretty decent. This is Paul George's offseason, though, so hopefully he'll be there for us to pick him up. Um, offer Felicio a qualifying offer. I don't think I want Nawaba this time. Um, hopefully Randall's interested in re-signing. If not, I'm pretty sure he's a restricted free agency, so we'll just match the contract. Either way, we got Paul George, Jabari Parker, actually. I like Jabari a lot, but he is restricted. So realistically, we're probably not getting him. But we'll max out a deal to Paul George, being realistic. The Lakers are pretty, uh, they've been a pretty reasonable destination for Paul George to go to. But I know in this game, he usually goes back to the Pacers. But come on, you gotta, you gotta at least show some interest to go into the, go into the uh, Lakers. Let's see. We need a solid shooting guard. I mean, we need a few things. I wouldn't mind a solid center too. DeAndre Jordan's a pretty solid center, eh, but he's not worth that much money. He isn't. There's no way he's worth that much money. Um, a plus rebounding. We can get Clint Capello. We can offer him a con. Oh, he's restricted actually. Eh, so we'll just yeah, we'll probably not go through with that. Oh no, Paul George signed on the first day. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We got PG. There we go. So we'll send through that. Paul George is a Laker now. If he's a Laker, we can afford we can afford DJ. We can. It'd be the rest of our cap room though to give him the offer. Let's check our team and let's just check team needs. We have a solid point guard. We could use a better shooting guard. We have a solid small forward now. We can move Ingram to the four. Even then, Ingram's probably a backup. Probably gonna play backup. So Paul George is just uh, a secondary position, not shooting guard for some reason. Um, unless we can change Paul George to a shooting guard right now, which I might consider doing, but I don't know. Uh, we need another backup center. Zubak's not even bad. What's his stat line looking like for us? His rebounds need to get better, but um, we have solid power forwards too, especially if Randall resigns. Uh, it begs the question: What happened? Where's Randall? Okay, that's weird. Um, we could sign DJ. We also need a we need a backup center too, but we could sign DJ then let um, what's his face be the backup. That could work out for us. I think Paul George and DJ could put us over the top, especially with the development and our other positions. We can try it. I don't know if I want to go over the luxury threshold though. I wouldn't mind getting Seth Curry as, as well. Clint Capella signed. We'll just keep it pending. Um, there's one offer set by players. Uh, so the option is either have to decline it and take the. I think we decline it and we take the risk with DJ because I don't think 20 million for Clint Capella is probably worth it. We just gotta take the risk with DJ signing. And he will sign. Okay, awesome. So with DJ coming aboard, I'm hoping this is a big enough offseason. Oh, and Seth Curry signed somewhere else. So with that being the case, it looks like I think we'll just need a shooting guard, right? Yeah, I don't know if I want Troy Daniels, even though he can shoot like crazy from three. That's probably something I want more off the bench and starting. I mean, Clarkson can start, but I like him off the bench also. Uh, especially, that would be a solid bench unit. Clarkson, Daniels, Ingram, Randall, and... And Zubok, that's like our old starting lineup. Um, that, that would be a really solid bench. So we'll give the min minimum to Ellington. I'm hoping he'll sign and he will. Okay. So with that being the team, I actually like this team a lot. We'll go to training camps. We'll continue to work on the development of Ingram. Or actually, I meant to go to progression. Let's go to player progression. If it will let me stop simming for a second. Yeah, we'll go to player progression instead. So I like looking at how... Some of the main guys, especially Ingram and Rain or uh, and Russell, seeing how those guys develop. So Randall should be back on the team now. He should be back on the team. What the hell happened? I hate it when this game does this thing. 
What team is Randall on? He's on that random... Oh, you sacks of shit. What would they trade him for? Now I'm trying to get Randall back because he's a restricted free agent. Did I not have a contract up there for him? I can get back for Larry Nance, but this comes down to the point where do I want Larry Nance or do I want Randall more? And I'll just keep Larry Nance, especially for way cheaper. I can do Clarkson too, but... Oh, that pisses me off because I wanted Randall to be the backup. But, I mean, we still have TJ Leaf. That's part of the reason we drafted him. Um, so he's going to finally get his playing time this year. He can shoot too, so we can have a solid shooting bench. Yeah, the 84-3. Can he get some boards? Is he very good? At yeah, he's a pretty good rebounder, actually. He's a pretty solid player. Um, what was that I was going to look at? This team's pretty good. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like Ingram developed a lot. Plus 5 overall. Plus 4 for Russell. He's now an 89. Um, DJ went up a little bit. Nance went up 1. Anuna B went up to 76 overall. TJ Leaf went up to 74. So the team keeps getting better. With this, with Ingram in the mid 80s and Russell almost at a 90. Especially with us, we're going to continuously work on their development. I mean, Rain Russell's got like Steph Curry shooting stats now. Um, that should make our team really good. Obviously, it should make our team really good. We have a pretty stacked lineup. I just don't like the thought of. No, I don't like the thought of Ingram not starting. He keeps getting so much better. So we'll find a way to get him probably... In, we'll, we'll try to find a way to get him in the lineup. Um, but that might be tough to do. Oh, we have one more tra You guys probably think I'm so stupid. I had one more training camp this whole time. Oh, man. Alright, maybe I didn't, but I thought... Who knows? Um, we can go untapped potential, or we can just work on the skill sets of one of our players. We'll work on the big man offensive DJ, because I want him to be... We need him to have some offensive skill down there. We'll make a big difference, but every little point counts. Even if that just increases his point per game by one. You never know when that'll make a big difference. So now we're in the beginning of the next season. Our fan interest is at 100%, which makes sense with how talented this team is now. Um, so, can, can we change Ingram to a two? Ingram actually, he, he I thought he was comfortable with the two. I think both him and George are both comfortable with the two. Which makes it weird that neither of them are able to switch it. We'll put George the two. Because I think Ingram's with his length. It makes more sense for him to be the three. Um, so, vitals. Would that be where we go to change his position? Shooting guard and secondary position will make small forward. I'm just doing this primarily just so I can have him play the position I need him to be. Which will drop his overall to an 89. Which is fine by me. It's still Paul George. It's not like his stats changed. Um... So let's see, with that being the case. Have CPU rebuild rotation. And yep, yeah, that, that's rebuilt. This is the lineup I'm talking about. Russell, George, Ingram, Nance, and DJ. That's a solid lineup. And the bench being Clarkson, Anunoby, who's a 77 now, Zubak, Ellington, and either Felicia or TJ Leaf. So that's that's pretty solid. I'm liking this a lot actually. Um, so I'll see you guys at mid-season. I'm going to just check out this team sim goes. I'll see you guys at mid-season. I'll see if we have to make any big trades or anything like that to improve our bench or whatever big pieces we need to get. We'll see in just a second. Okay, guys. Here we are at the last day of the trade deadline. I think we still are available to do some trades if we want to. Oh, no. No, that's the trade deadline. I, I guess once you sim through this game, the trade deadline's gone. So we couldn't even make a trade if we wanted to. I doubt it's even necessary, though. We're 38-17 and 17 after a really bad start to the season. You see... We started off the season three and five or four and six. Like it wasn't that great, uh, but we started picking it up. I think the tempo is starting to get a little bit better. So, conference-wise, the Timberwolves and the and the Warriors have some crazy-ass record. Um, so we're just fine to catch up with them. Uh, still better than probably most of the teams out there in the East. Uh, let's see. So if we're looking at power rankings, we're third, second, third. Yeah, third, second, third. Um, with two other Western Conference teams. So. The rough part about that is that it means uh, we're going to have a bit of a difficulty getting out of the Western Conference, but um, we'll see. Luckily right here, it, looks, uh, it doesn't look like we have any weakness. We have a lot of strengths. We have good, what is that, offensive IQ? Good athleticism, post defense, low post offense, tackling, basket, rebounding. I like our team a lot. I mean, we got some pretty cool trade offers we could be going after. I mean, 
Uh, they offered guys like Damian Lillard for Russell. They offered uh, Conley. They offered they offered some really good point guards. They offered like really good guys. Um, obviously turned down most of those deals, but uh, yeah, no, they're they're definitely pursuing that with some ferocity. But we have a pretty solid uh, team right now. I, I don't really want to disband and, and wreck any of our team's uh, any of our team's chemistry. I think we just keep it how it is. Um, I think everybody's playing the way they should be playing, so I'm, I'm happy with everything. I think we're just going to send the rest of the season here. Uh, obviously, we'll be a playoff team. I'm, I have no concerns about that. So I'll see you guys once we're actually in the playoffs, and hopefully we'll get a good matchup and make it pretty deep. All right, guys, here we are with one game left on the year. Kind of a, a rocky finish. You see right here, uh, two and three to end it, but these are pretty close losses. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, Conference-wise, we're two games up. On the Warriors, actually. The Warriors are the team that dropped out from the, the Timberwolves. Are the, I did not think that would be the team that took over first place. I thought the Warriors were in first, Timberwolves were in third. I was not paying close enough attention, I guess. Um, we are looking, or, or hopefully we'll win this game. Because we're looking to get a better record than the Wizards. Because obviously, uh, we're trying to get home home court advantage if we do happen to make the playoffs or make the finals against them. The Nuggets down here, look at this. They're on a 12-game winning streak trying to make the playoffs. And that's... That locked them in to uh, to earn a playoff spot, which sadly means I think that means we're playing them in the first round. I think that they were the seventh seed. But we're gonna win that game real quick. I'm gonna have to check if the Timberwolves won, or not the Timberwolves, but if the uh, Wizards won their game. But MVP will go to Carl Anthony Towns, which makes sense because he led the best team in the league. Luka Doncic will win Rookie of the Year like he normally does. This dude always goes off. I don't get it. Uh, Vucevic is sixth man of the year. I don't know why Vucevic is playing a sixth man role, but that's interesting. Anthony Davis there for Defense Player of the Year. Ben Simmons, most approved player, averaging 16, 11, and 8. That's pretty awesome. What's his stat? He's 89 overall now. See, I think that's fair. I think finally the uh, development is starting to make a little bit more sense. His stat line, look at these. Look how, uh, he's like a, a full-on 5 tool player. If he could just shoot the ball, he would have an A and everything. He'd be, well, he'd be a 99 overall if he could shoot the ball. Um, first team, Goodrich, Harden, blah, 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 blah. We don't have anybody, do we? Oh, we have Daniel Russell on the third team. We get no love out here. No love. Even Paul George, all defensive second team. But no no uh, DeAndre Jordan. That just shows. We, we just get no love out here. We don't. Um, we're just constantly getting underrated. But uh, we'll check right now if the Wizards won their game. I'm pretty sure it's team it's team records that affect if you get home court, right? N oh, they actually lost. So, yeah, no, we're going to have home court if we do make the finals. But we are going up against the Nuggets right now who are... On a 13 game winning streak so keeping that in mind we could be extremely fucked right now they're on they've won 13 in a row so if you want to talk about a hot streak oh okay we shot that down quick they're on a 13 game winning streak going into this though so i'm not going to underestimate how much momentum they have right now and never mind we swept them they were on a 13 game winning streak to make the playoffs and we sweep them you'd expect some more competition but we won okay game one won by three points game two we won by close to 30 game three won by six game four won only one by one point so uh, no, there was definitely some competition. We just were the better team at clutch time. Uh, we're one of two teams to actually finish with a sweep. And Timberwolf will make it through. We're going up against the Warriors now. FML, dude. And I'm pretty sure they maintain their same roster. Let's see. Um, yep, Draymond, Thompson, Durant, Curry. They might have some different guys around them. But those are the guys we're most concerned about. And, of course, all of them are about a 90 overall. So I have no idea how the hell we're going to shut this down. But, yeah, they beat us in game one by 27. Beat us in game two by 31. Be in game three by 17. If you look in the bottom, that's where it's showing the. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're coming back from this. We won by seven points. That was probably just luck, to be honest. Even look, look, look at these guys' stat lines. How do we even win? I don't. We won game two. Whoa, we won game two by 52 points. Why couldn't we have done this earlier? Yeah, we shut them down. We made them look awful. We won by 52. We come back from we went by 52 just to come back and lose by seven. That's some bullshit. Okay, so this won't be the oh and the Timberwolves actually lost too, so we had a good chance if we made it to the next round to actually make the finals. That sucks. And the Warriors will win the finals. What is that? A, th a three peat now. So they're gonna win the finals. We have plenty of uh, of talent on this team though, and it's only gonna get better because we have a lot of young guys. So let's check league meetings. Um, I'm pretty happy with this team though. Eliminate the shot clock. Could you imagine? Um, 
We don't need to do the draft or any of that stuff. We'll look at staff signing. We might need to upgrade some of that stuff. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind firing Luke Walton. I think he's a good coach in real life. But I wouldn't mind firing him getting a better one. Eh, you know, whatever. We'll let it be. Um, with that being the case, we'll go to team and player options. Do all that important stuff. We're going to get Ingram back, obviously. He's definitely worth the money. We'll get TJ Leaf back. And we can let Met we can let Matthew go. Um, Leonard's a 97 overall now. And he's a free agent. I wish we had the money to get him. We, we might be able to work around to get enough money. We'll see what we can do. My free agents. Please tell me these guys sign back. Really the last thing I need is to lose D'Angelo Russell or Larry Nance or any of those guys. Um, just in case, though, we will give him a big deal. We'll max out his deal and give him a player option. Do the normal thing we have to do. Advance, free agency. And he's a restricted free agent, so he should be all right. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, though. Let's see if we can do anything crazy. Like, if we, if, let's say we wanted Kawhi. We're 11, we have 11, okay, so what we'll need to do, can we get rid of DJ's huge contract for something cheap to open up enough cap space to sign a guy like Kawhi? That's the real question. I think that's worth doing. Now, I kind of went in a rush uh, to sign DJ last year, obviously, because I wanted the rebuild as quick as possible. Okay, there we go. No. Nothing found for the selected items. Ooh. Um, we'll find a way to get this trade off. Let's see. Ben Simmons. Who's pretty cheap, too. You want some first round picks? Declines to waive his no. Oh, fuck. We gave him a no trade clause. Oh, you're a dick. I hate that. I need to find somebody who's actually worth it, though. Maybe Jason Tatum. It's pretty solid. Okay, we don't, is there anybody down Jordan will tell us he's interested in going to? No, we gave him no trade clause, so we're kind of screwed in that sense. Um, yeah. Jay Butt, yeah, we can't sign any of these. Kyrie, oh, this is a good free agency class. I'll just have to keep me in mind that next time I do a rebuild, I gotta I gotta save enough money so when we actually get to this point, I can sign one of these guys. A Kyrie, a white side, a booker. Um We already got Russell back. I mean, either way, it's not gonna end up being a big deal. Like, we're, we're still such a good team. It's just one of those things where obviously I, I wanna get all the good players. You know, I wanna get. Because imagine that team, imagine having. D'Angelo Russell, or no, D'Angelo Russell, Kawhi, Brandon Ingram, and Paul George. I mean, a lot of small fours, let's be honest, but we move them around, that'd be solid. Or a team with uh, D'Angelo Russell, Kyrie, Paul George. I mean, it just instead of having uh, instead of having DJ, we could have had either Kyrie or Jimmy Butler. Or, or oh, Ingram's at 89 now, damn. Talk about fast development, what's his shooting like? 93-3. Talk about the real Splash Brothers right here. We got we got Splash Triplets. Paul George, Ingram, and Russell. Um, this is a solid team. And Nunabi is actually developing too. He's at 80 overall. That'll be a solid backup. All these guys are developing. This team is, is really good now. Um, Markel Fultz is getting really good. That game is 89 overall. I'm getting, I'm getting lost right now. I'm just like, I like looking at player stats. Let's see how much better did... Uh, what's his face get? Vincent's only 89 now. Uh, but I thought... Yeah, Russell's getting better than him then. Um, so we'll go to training camps one more time. Keep improving that that potential of Russell and uh, and Ingram. So we keep improving that. I mean, we'll look real quick at what their potential's like to make sure that we don't keep you know dumping into something pointless. But if their potential keeps going up, that means Russell can turn to a 95 after we do that. And that means Ingram could probably turn... Into what? A 92. So they would just reach their potential, so we're trying to make them even better. Um, 
We'll work on that athleticism of Paul George. Just keep making, you know, he's getting up there in age, so make sure he can't maintain some of that athleticism. It's about, yeah, he's about 29 now. We should make sure he, he stays athletic. With that, though, we should be solid going into the next season. So I'm going to sim the rest of next season. I, I mean, our team is solid all around. Now it's just about the, uh, and we have we have good chemistry. We didn't change anything. So with a year under our belts to kind of get an idea of how to play with each other, that first year can always be a little bit rough. But now after a year of knowing how to play with each other, I think this year is the year. Plus our guys keep getting better. So I'll sim the rest of the season. And I'll see you guys once we get into the off season or into the playoffs, I should say. Okay, guys, we're approaching the end of another year. Two games left here on the season. Once again, looking to be the third seed. Uh, yeah, three games out. We're kind of clinched here in this third seed with two games left. Uh, this time, the Warriors and the Timberwolves both ahead of us. Um, actually, we were the second seed last year, weren't we? We're fourth in power rankings. This Louisville Liberty team, it's an expansion team. And they became really good. I don't know how. The Lions aren't that good. They've done Smith. I, I, I don't get how this team is this good. This is crazy to me. The Bucks are pretty good over there, too. Okay. Either way. Um, it's just been a mess. We're going to win both these last two games, though. By a pretty good margin. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, actually, is going to be the MVP. Here you go. Something interesting. I did not expect Antetokounmpo to be the MVP of this year. Um, I haven't seen him win MVP yet. In any of these... Uh, in any of these... In any of these rebuilds. So, good for him, though. MVP is going to be him. Rookie of the Year is not even that solid of a player. This guy named Cam Lowe doesn't look like he has that good of a draft cost. Second man of the Year is Jonathan Isaac. Uh, defensive player of the Year is actually Mohamed Bamba. Averaging 15-12 with three blocks. Damn, make me feel like I should have drafted him or found a way to get him. Malik Monk for most improved player. Averaging 24 points per game. And Terry Stotts. Um, what is up with this? The Warriors getting a new coach every single year? Uh, Let's see. Do we have anybody getting any, any love out here? No, we got nobody getting any love. We don't have an all-defensive team. We have nothing. We have no teams anywhere. And we have a solid team, too. Nobody likes us. Either way, this time we're going to be playing the Utah Jazz in the first round. We're going to win game one by six points. Win game two by about 24. Win game three by 37. And we're going to get the sweep there. Winning game four by four points. Um, that's what I'm talking about, though. Anybody go off for us? This game, did you leave drop 25? Damn. I like it. We're the only team to actually get a sweep, it looks like. Yeah, we're the only team. Oh, no. Uh, there's there's two other sweeps here in the Western Conference. Damn. So, ne never mind. Western Conference was sweep city. Now, we're trying to get some, some uh, revenge here on the Warriors. They're going to beat us in game two. We're going to beat them in game three. Beat them in game four. Come on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I knew this shit always happens. I hate it when this happens. I, I, the reason I'm upset is I knew. I fucking knew. Oh, damn. D'Angelo Russell dropped 47 this game. I knew that they were going to give the Warriors that 3-1 comeback. There's no way in hell. Come on. Thank God we won by 12 points in the last game. D'Angelo Russell went off again. 35 points. averaging 24 a game in the playoffs. He's been doing pretty good. Um... So similarly to the current round, it looks like the Bulls actually beat the Cavaliers. What's up with the Cavs? They still have their same team. It just, I don't know what's going on. They're, they never do good in simulations. I don't get it. Game one, okay, we won by three. Game two, we lose by seven. Game three, we win by 13. Game four, we lose by a little bit. Game five, we lose by one point. No. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we lose by 21 in game six. Okay, this is it. I'm doing one. They actually swept. Okay, way to go, Harden, I guess. We're doing one more. One more year. That's it. Go to league meetings. Oh, that's rejected. Okay, I'll let it be. We don't need to do the draft because we don't have a good pick. Probably should have done staff signing. Whatever. I'm in a rush. I'm trying to get one last season in. Get TJ Leaf. Yeah, we can build these guys back. Qualifying offers. Ingram, and they're both restricted, so we should be able to get them back. Um, yeah, I don't care if we go over the luxury tax. It's the last year. Enjoy your money, Ingram. Oh, Larry Nance. Yeah, no, 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 no. You don't deserve that much money. Whatever. Let's go way over it. 
Let's just go way over the tax. Like that that's so bad. We got like three people twenty million dollar contracts and we're already over it. Um so yeah, the top free agent is Ingram, but you know, he, he I mean he's he's kinda trapped with us, so Galloway's gonna sign. And there we go. Whoa, whoa. It would take us over the limit if we signed him. No, you're kidding. So it's either Nance or a Nunnaby. That sucks. He didn't do that much for us, but he's a solid player. And we lost, oh, we lost Zubak too. So this team's only getting worse. Oh, okay. That's annoying. Um, and we still we don't have a trade for DJ, do we? Because he's got his trade clause with thirty-four million dollars on his contract. There's only one year left, so after this year, and we'd still be so far over the fucking luxury tax that we wouldn't be able to sign anybody. But this is kind of the golden last year for it with Russell and Ingram both. Probably getting better here. We'll probably see them develop a little bit more. Doesn't look like we're gonna find a trade, huh? This is going really slow. Come on, 2K, you can do it. Like breaking the game, just trying to find a trade for this guy. Okay. I feel like I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm stressing 2K out trying to find a trade. Um. Let's go day by day. I don't know if it'll let me. Yeah, it's not gonna let me sign those guys, so we might as well just go to player progression. That sucks though. I don't wanna lose I didn't wanna lose any of those guys. Kinda of similar to losing Julius Randall. That sucked too when that happened. But I guess we just gotta I gotta well I guess I gotta move on. But um I mean, at the end of the day. Oh no, we got an enemy back because he signed the He signed that one deal. Awesome, so Ingram went to a ninety one, Russell went to a ninety four. Dude, this team is stacked. This is even better than the Warriors. Look at these overalls. 88, 89, 91, 94. So now we just need to go to training camps. And we'll get their potential up even more. I mean, that, that's all you gotta do. You just keep untapping that potential. And that means Ingram and Russell could both go to like 99 overalls, which means. I mean, hell, even if we lost George and, and uh, DJ, I mean, those guys' overalls are going to go up so high that we're going to be fine. Let's see. So once again, we're at the point where we just have to sim a season and hope for the best. So I'm going to start doing that now, and I'll see you guys once we reach the postseason. Okay, guys, we're about at the end of... Another season, uh, sitting at about the same record we've had the past couple of years. This time, number two, or the second seed in the Western Conference. Uh, primarily because it looks like the Warriors kind of dropped off. And I don't know quite why. Oh, Steph's just declining big time. That, okay, so um, they've dropped off a little bit, luckily. If that guy's injured, I don't know. But, uh, so that, that kind of promoted us to the second seed in the West. And on the East, though, the East is getting more talented. There's like four teams with 50 plus wins, which means we'll probably not get the uh, home court advantage if we do happen to make the finals. But that's all right. We're going to win that game. Win that game. So finish off the season strong. MVP will be Markel Fultz. Interesting stuff right there. Rookie of the year will be this guy, Brian Little, who averaged 20 points as a rookie with an 84 overall. That was a pretty solid, pretty solid year for the dude. Jonathan Isaac, sixth man of the year. Harry Giles for defensive player of the year. That's pretty awesome. Terry Rozier, Rozier, my bad, for most group player, and John Smith, the Rockets coach, for coach of the year. I doubt, as usual, that we'll have anybody, and no, Curry's just injured, that we'll have anybody represented in the, uh, yeah, we, we get no love, we know about it. Either way, we have this, that sucks then, that means you have to play the Warriors in the first round. How long is Curry injured for? Can we at least get lucky with that one? Well, she'll be like, no, he just got healthy. One to two, it's broken right leg. Uh, so we just gotta hope we beat him fast enough that his leg doesn't recover, basically. Um, 
We gotta beat him quick. No. Come on. No. Oh, you need to win this. There we go. Okay, we won the series. Right before Curry, Curry, Curry played five minutes. That was the only game he's able to play. He's able to just get a little bit of play time in. And he broke his right ankle in those five minutes. Oh. Curry broke his leg, comes in to play five minutes, and breaks his right ankle. I feel bad for laughing, but, I mean, it's not real life. It's just kind of funny. Like, that's that's the worst luck ever. Um, we win game one by one point. Lose game two by four points. Lose game three by a shit ton. You're... Don't fuck with me, game. Don't fuck with me, game. That's what I'm talking about. Coming back from the 3-1. I was... I, honestly, I maintained some confidence that we're going to come back. I did not think the game was going to screw me that bad. Also, I wanted to mention, Ingram has kind of maintained a, a higher role in the team. He averaged 21 in the season, which is way more... I mean, I think he was just shooting a lot more than he's used to, which I kind of liked. Uh, I liked him being more aggressive. Either way, here we are back at the conference finals. I mean, needless to say, even if we lose here, we did rebuild the Lakers. Made them a lot better than they were, but I want to be at least a finals team once. This Warriors team is... I mean, this Rockets team has been a real pain in the ass. Okay, here it comes down to Game 7. So, since it came down to Game 7... I'm going to simulate with SimsCast. I, I'm going to start doing that if we make the finals, just start doing SimsCast. So you guys can see how it's going in the actual game. So the look at the scoreboard, obviously, is there on the right. You can get an idea of how the game's going. Right now, well, right now we're giving them that work. Come on, just keep that momentum. We've won every quarter to this point. It's the start of the fourth quarter, we're up by 13. We're going to have to blow this pretty bad to give them a chance to win. And it's not going to happen. Okay, I, I sent through that quick, but we ended up winning by 12 points. Winning every quarter besides the fourth quarter by one point. Um, we lost the fourth quarter by one point. So, with that being the case, now we're in the final. So, now every game will be simulated with SimsCast. I'm really glad we did this extra year then. Um, and if it's the, like a, a part where it looks like we're going to win actually win the chip, then I'll actually hop in the game and we'll earn that chip. But, um, pretty back and forth battle here. It appears in game one of the finals oh we're coming out strong here in the, in the fourth quarter we're playing great in the fourth quarter limiting them to only 11 points so far I mean, they're doing great defensively too but we're up by 10 with only a minute and a half left it looks like we're gonna probably walk out uh with game one in our hands which is great because it was a bit scary for a second ingram dropped 31 points for us Final score, Ingram dropped 31, Russell dropped 25. Nobody else really came up that huge, but pretty consistent stat lines for everyone else. TJ Leaf almost got a triple-double. Um, for them, obviously, LeBron's kind of the big player. Who's this T. Brown Jr. guy? Troy Brown Jr. Looks like a guy they drafted. He looks pretty good, actually. What pick did they draft him with? The 30th pick. He's pretty good. Um, Kyrie, Kevin Love. Kyrie's overall went down, too. But either way, moving on to the next game. I like the Sims cast a lot more. I think this adds a lot more excitement. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy watching it. I enjoy watching those numbers go up. Oh, no, they went on a nice little rally there in the first quarter. And they maintained it in the second quarter. We're getting our ass whooped right now. We need an amazing second half to even have... No, we're not getting it. We're not winning this game. We're getting blown out. <laughs> yeah, we lost every quarter. We got blown out by 30 points. Nobody really came up big for us. A lot of people came up big for them. Two people with double-digit assists. So now on to game three. This should be... I'm, I think this is back on our home court. So we split the away series, which is exactly what we needed to do, but we can't lose our home court now. we got to actually make our home court worth it. Here we go. Okay, we're up by six. TJ Leaves actually being the star for us so far. Nobody's really scoring a lot of points. Just a few guys with a good amount of points. Kyrie's kind of coming up big for them, so we need somebody to shut him down. Up by eight with four minutes left. Come on. Finish strong. Up by six. Up by four. Up by six with 20 seconds left. That should be good enough. Up by eight now. Yeah, we're going to win this game. Um, here's a quick look at the stat line. Just five guys scoring 17 or more. Nobody really came out big. They had Kyrie go up big for them, but uh, we limited LeBron to two for 10 from the three-point line, so he, he was probably more of a negative influence on that game. So that helped a lot. Return to the calendar. Game four now. Right, that's game four, yep. Game four, like I said, we're on home court. We gotta take care of our uh, business here at home. 
Especially in Los Angeles. You know that the fan base here is a bit crazy, so they're expecting some wins. Oh no, a good third quarter here for the uh, for the Cavs could be spelling some trouble for us. Yep, down by 13. Yeah, we're going to lose this game. Wait, we're on a run right now, though. No, down by... Yeah, we lost this game by 5. Ingram and Russell did pretty good for us, but they had a... Basically, they're, they're big four now because they have Troy Brown Jr. Uh, went up big for them. So now a 2-2 series. But we're back on the road, I would say. It's because it's 2-2-1. Yeah, we're back on the road. So we need to come up big here on the road. I just know it says away and home. Looks like we're actually enjoying playing in Cleveland, though. We've been playing pretty good in Cleveland. Oh, come on. Don't sacrifice that lead. Dude, they're throwing that lead away so bad. The lead we had, at least. We don't have a lead anymore, obviously. Down by 10. Yep, we're going to lose that game by 9. We definitely should have won that game. Especially with the first quarter we had. So with game 6, back in our hometown, we got to protect our home court to even give ourselves a chance. And an awful first quarter is making this look unlikely. Giving up 40 points in the first quarter. Are you kidding me? Wow. Our, yeah, we, we lost. We only have 65 points going in the fourth quarter. Down by 28. We got blown out on our home court in a, in an elimination game. That's just embarrassing. So the Cavs win it. LeBron is going to be the MVP, which is kind of be kind of to be uh, assumed. Well, that sucks. That sucks, major ass. We're up 2-1-2. We lost three in a row. <sighs> so that's the end of it. We did finally make the finals. I mean, we would win it if we gave it enough time. Paul George and jo uh, DeAndre Jordan's contracts are expiring, so we'd probably lose them and get and tack on some different free agents. Like, let's just say hypothetically what would... Eh, no, we're not going to go into it. But I'm sure we could have replaced them, even if we lost them with better free agents and all that good stuff. So, um, even without that being the case... Had a lot of fun with this rebuild, obviously, like I said, being a Lakers fan, it kind of attached you to enjoying this, or just enjoying playing with them a little bit more, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you did, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and what I could do to make it more interesting in the comment section below, and lastly, subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.